I wanted the forms to feel as if somehow they'd kind of been sort of blown in and are sort of blown into the corners. Talk about having a, a language with materials. Now what that language is, is really hard to put into words though. Um, I mean, you have, a, you have an aesthetic, I suppose. Um, and mine is always about forms that have grown. They just feel like they're growing on their own somehow. They're growing on their own somehow. And I think, and I think there's definitely a language involved because I feel familiar with the material and then I also um, but maybe when you are making you don't focus too hard on what all those meanings are you just know them to be true all those meanings are you just know them to be true about a thrill of producing something so all my it is about a thrill of producing something so all my shapes started off as forms that you could get inside so the whole thing began with me moving sticks around me me moving and sticks around me and getting that thrill of right well I've just made that and I'm in it <laughs> When I was little, I used to build dens in the woods and tree houses and the process of building them was absolutely ingrained. I've no idea really where it came from. Came from. Could not stop building these things. Could not stop building these things. I had to return to a process of not using any rules, just complete freedom. loops and hoops and, um, and the willow is only six feet long so you can only get a curve of a certain size and you can only make each line stretch so far so it's essentially it's like a hatch drawing that you know if you did it you'd, you'd do the outline and then you'd maybe sort of fill it in and then you'd get denser and denser and denser and it's a little bit like that it's been knotted, it's been placed, it's been curved. Most people, when they encounter them, they, they, they do, they ask all the questions about, well, what is it? But they seem to also somewhere understand. And that's all I want, really. That there's a, there's a deep familiarity with those natural places that we make our own. Thank you.